Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I failed and then passed the PMPT, what also caused me to fail, and also what I used to help me finally get past this exam. Let's get into this. So, as I was saying before, I did fail this exam on my first attempt not by doing the actual test itself, but it was from the report, which I will get into later in the video. I, so I did have to use the free retake that is part of the voucher to finally pass this exam on the report. So let me take it back on how I prepared for this exam. We had a group of three studying and one came in probably the later quarter of, of our time uh, studying together. Uh, pretty much studied for this about say three and a half weeks, maybe four weeks. Four, I'd say four, four weeks total if you count some of the weekends. Um, so because some of the weekends we did study, some of them we didn't. And so the reason why the, the short time of this studying, um, it's kind of a mix for us, us three. I'm going to go in for myself specifically. Number one, I just came off the OSCP, um, which pretty much kind of ran right through this. The only difference is the there's actually a big key difference is this is not a CTF exam similar to the OSCP. This is an actual and ex external pen test. So it's, it's a bit different and also with the reporting as well, um, at least from my, <laughs> my experience. Um, so pretty much that's the, that's the key thing. This is not a CTF. This is treat this as an actual external engagement. Um, and then also, you know, not only coming off the, the OSCP, but I've been doing these trainings, uh, at least the, the ethical hacking course, uh, Windows, Linux, Privesk, OSINT, and the external, uh, was it external engagement? Uh, I forgot the exact name for it. But anyway, <clears throat> I've been doing those um, probably, I want to say since they first came out with TCM, uh, off and on here and there, building out the AD uh, labs and stuff like that with the Marvel dot local, et cetera. So I've been off and on doing that. There's just work got in the way with this one. And also the OSCP, as I touched on in my last videos, uh, we had a couple incidents that I was part of and, uh, they're in my last video. So that's kind of what was the lay with both this and the OSCP last year. So I just wanted to get this done. The voucher has been there. Like I said, I almost had it for two years, possibly even two years now. Um, so I just got it done. I think I, I believe my certificate did say July 12th is when I actually completed this. Um, so pretty much how I went through this exam, again, go have a study group together, especially if you need the extra help. See how other people do these um, attacks, commands, enumeration, et cetera, right? Even from an external standpoint, um, the OSINT piece. Um, it really, OSINT really wasn't that big for the exam I got. I'm not sure how many different exams there are, but it really wasn't as big or as, as big as I thought it would be for this exam. But still, there might be different exams that might have updated. So I would go through that whole video if you don't have any experience in OSINT. Um, at least that's what I would do. And again, go have a group. Um, it's always good to see how people do things outside of the box from their perspective, seeing how they do things. Again, like I said before, the weakest thing I have for whatever reason is SSH. Um, and I like seeing different people do it different ways. Um, again, that's just one of my weakest links in pen testing. Um, so how doing it, ha, not having a study group is pretty good and beneficial for you for that reason. But number two, which is probably even better if you don't have any drive and it keeps you accountable, it keeps everyone accountable on the schedule. You know, some people have families, kids that gets in the way. Um, so pretty much what we did was we used Notion. Uh, I used Obsidian and then transferred my notes to Notion uh, for our daily, you know, our daily studying. Uh, that way everyone was there. If we had questions or how did you get this? How did you do that? How did you find this? Um, how did you find this command or et cetera, right? They're all there and you can ask questions from the people that you're studying with. So pretty much that was the route we took for studying. Um, again, you know, if you buy it now, I forgot how much it was when I, when I got the, the voucher. Um, I got the voucher outside of the course and this was before they had their, um, what is it called? Their, their not season pass, but their, subscription model. 
Um, I had all, I pretty much got all the courses except the one pre subscription model. So I purchased the voucher uh, by itself. Uh, I forgot how much it was at the time. Um, so pretty much how to pass the PMPT exam, perform open source intelligence to gather intel. Again, I touch on this. It wasn't really that relevant for my exam. I don't know how many there are. I don't know if they change or not. I'm obviously not going to tell you my exam. But for me, that that wasn't really big. Now for you, if you don't have experience in OSINT, again, go through the videos, study, and also look at other resources as well. Leverage their Active Directory exploitation skill sets to perform AV and egress bypassing, lateral and vertical network movements, and ultimately compromise the exam domain controller. Yes, Active Directory is key in this one. Um, I guess I could go into my issue with my report on this one. Uh, pretty much, I missed the screenshot on persistence. Um, I thought it was in there. Uh, it wasn't. I did have the screenshot. I forgot to add it. Uh, they will look at every nook and cranny, how you would how you would base an actual report from an actual engagement, not your OSCP exam. That's pretty much what they're going to go by. So make sure you have everything on there and not just the screenshot. Make sure you have it. Mm -hmm. I use um, flame shot. So make sure you have it highlighted in red, you know, the, the box. That's pretty much what I use for my notes. So that was my issue with the report and why I failed the first time. Um, there is also multiple ways to do it. Um, however, you got to figure those out. I'm not going to tell you that on here as I don't want to get in any kind of trouble. Uh, so after that, you know, the report again is real detailed. There's different kind of templates out there. Make it as detailed and professional as you can. Like I said, again, treat this as a live external engagement as you're doing it at the job. Now, as far as the, the live 15 minute report or de report debrief, that actually only took me seven minutes. I want to say, uh, pretty much from what I got, how I gathered it and how I did it, I kind of went, was going to, I already had this pre-planned and honestly, I actually used chat GPT to high, give my report in a high level, um, you know, pretty much cut it in half. And pretty much what the assessor did is ask how I wanted to do the debrief. And I said, you know, I'll just give you at a high level, pinpoint it. That way I have to read word for word or go over everything and possibly go over the 15 minutes. Now, I don't know if you go over the 15 minutes, if you go that route, if you're going to fail, um, I wouldn't chance it, but I, I don't know. And nor did I ask, and I haven't asked anyone else to be honest with you. Um, so pretty much that's just what I did. I went through chat GPT, did mine on a high level, uh, you know, summarize my report seven minutes. It was done. He said, sent me a copy of my certification email while he, right before he signed off. And then my, um, account got updated. Um, so that's pretty much. <clears throat> pretty much, you know, what happened with that. And it was real fast, real simple to the point. A key thing for me, not again, I'll touch on this uh, because I said it in my last video for OSCP, but also for this as well, the CPTS pathway, the penetration, penetration tester pathway is the one that really, I think has the best training for both. PMPT is great. It gets straight to the point, but Again, um, I don't know what exam you're going to get or how the exams change. I'm not going to tell you my exam again, but this one for me, OSCP screwed me up big time with their bullshit labs. Um, and also a lot of people have issues with pivoting, tunneling, and port forwarding. Uh, I use chisel. Uh, there's another tool called the logo. I don't even know if I pronounced it right. John Hammond has a video on that. I hear that tool is pretty good. I'm comfortable with chisel and then also SSH tunneling. So pretty much this was key. And like I said, this academy, there's no videos, but Hack the Box Academy, I feel is pretty pretty much good. And this is going to be the future gold standard, in my opinion, uh, for pen testing. I think they're going to, the CPTS is going to take over the OSCP as the gold standard uh, pretty soon, actually. Uh, I really believe that. And I'm almost done here. Uh, this video will be shot out August 26th, which I'm recording. So I only got a couple more left and then I'm going to start the CPTS hopefully within the next week or two. Um, also, 
I take my full notes. Similar like I was doing TCM, which I have my own notes. This is going to go into a lot more detail as far as training. And again, too, for what Heath said, you don't need anything outside of his training to a degree. Um, again, for the pivoting and tunneling, if you need more understanding, I would go this route and also YouTube. Um, some people don't understand it. Uh, I was one of those uh, people as well, persons. So I needed to go the, to look at other resources to get a better understanding. Um, but I would definitely look into this if you can. Um, again, TCM, pretty much I, I've had other friends that took the uh, PJNT, I believe it's called, the one before that, just the Active Directory, pretty much the T. Everything that you need in that training is there. Um, and the TCM, again, this is more if you need uh, more help to get a better understanding of things. However, this is going to be more in depth as well. And if you're, you know, not, I'm not saying to be a cert collector, but also these are practical exams. So you're getting the knowledge and stuff that you can put on your resume outside of the certification itself. So with that being said, you're going to learn a shit ton doing this academy. Um, in my opinion, and I believe it's worth it. It's again, it's you're investing in yourself and the ROI is going to be going to be monumental at the end. So that's pretty much what I did. Um, I, I did not go back to the OSCP. I did look at some of my notes, uh, as far as what I did from some of the box at some of the boxes that hack the box, um, try hack me, uh, some of the active directory stuff I did at, at uh, try hack me and other boxes that I did, even some of the proving grounds. But as far as my OSCP lab notes, I did not even go back. I wouldn't even waste your time on that. Um, just being honest, um, maybe some people do get benefits from that, but I didn't. And again, for me, that was just a waste of time. So for me, this would be a good supplemental to the TCM um, if you need it. Uh, again, most of that stuff in, in TCM, pretty much if you got a good understanding, you don't need anything else. The, the, the exam is real straightforward. There's no tricks or gimmicks or ports that aren't going to be working or non-functional like OSCP. I don't know if that was a bad day or if that's how it really is. But, you know, it's a straightforward exam, external, pen test. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You report, make sure you report is to the T. Everything's in there. Double, triple, quadruple check your report. Don't make the same mistake as I did. Um, luckily, I got the same exam, uh, so it made it pretty easy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much what I would recommend. Go through these videos, and also, if you need any extra um, supplemental help, go through here, Hack the Box Academy, and also YouTube. Um, that's my recommendation. That's what I did. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty pretty fair and simple. Like I said, straight through exam, nothing crazy, nothing tricky. Uh, also, I would also recommend if some try hack me stuff as well from their Active Directory. If you're still new to that, um, I know some of them are becoming free from last I saw. I haven't been on try hack me in a while uh, since I think January February, but those will also be good too. Was it wreath? and a couple of the other ones. So yeah, that's the video for the PMPT exam. Uh, again, make sure you double, triple, quadruple check your report because they are real strenuous and harp on the professionalism and authenticity of your report, making sure everything's there, highlighted correctly. Um, yeah, so number one key thing is the report. So that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know what you guys recommend for the PMPT exam. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, the next videos, I will be doing some demos, um, some of the RFID hacking, NFC hacking, and also some tools as well. So thanks. Have a good day. See you on the next one.